I am pleased to announce that one of the individuals believed to be responsible for Wednesday's terrible attack on the Murrah Federal Building in Oklahoma City has been arrested. She was pretty clear. We are going to find out who did this and hold them accountable. We are going to show the system of justice to be what it is. And we stopped in Indianapolis to refuel because the plane could not make it all the way to Oklahoma City. And uh, somebody else came out and said, uh, is Reno's on the phone? And got the phone and she said, we found him. He's at a, at a uh, jail um, in Oklahoma and uh, you're gonna be doing the initial hearing tonight. The Attorney General made it clear what was gonna happen, then we all got in the boat and got our horse in the water. Our prayers are with the victims, their families, and, the loved, and their loved ones, for our heart and all America's heart has gone out to them. The people of Oklahoma City, you have stood your ground and said, we will not let terrorism affect our freedoms. You know, I'd been uh, on the case for a long time, and I was ready to go home, and she said, we need you to stay. Uh, but the thing that I won't ever forget is her speaking first to, um, you know, my wife and saying, you know, the country needs this. Uh, and it was important. I mean, she had a singular understanding of the pain the victim suffered. Um, and she was going to make sure that the process worked uh, to right their wrongs. And, um, and, and that was a theme that, and a, and a personality that she carried uh, throughout. She never once said to us, you must win. You must win at any cost. She wanted justice done. And I think as a prosecutor, she knew that for the victims, the survivors, the family members, a fair trial was the best thing that could ever happen to them because it would be upheld on appeal. I really admired her that day for it. We will never forget them. She was always asking us about how we interacted with the victims and the survivors and the family members. She would ask us about our visits back there. In the face of an evil, an evil that staggers the soul, you demonstrated the triumph of the human spirit. And this memorial and the peace it will bring stands for your triumph. Janet Reno was a fabulous boss. Her values just permeated the department. You, I've never seen someone lead with their values as much as she did. And you know, in the federal government, that's pretty much all you have. And everything she did, externally and internally, reflected that.